Hi everyone, how are you doing? I'm going to paint a magnolia today using the Daniel Smith watercolours. I'm not going to do a drawing, I'm just going to go straight in and have loads of fun with it. I've got rows of ultramarine, what an absolutely beautiful colour. And you don't need much with these, the pigments are so strong. You just need a tiny bit and it goes a really long way. And I've got Rhodonite Genuine, it's one of the gemstone colours, New Gamboge, really vibrant. I've got Bloodstone Genuine, Indigo, and my favourite green, the Cascade Green. It's absolutely beautiful. And I'll show you what that does in a minute. I'll put a bit more of that out. So starting off with a nice squirrel brush, imitation squirrel, I'm picking up this with the Rhodonite Genuine first and I'm coming over here really utilising the shape of the brush, placing it on and then flick that lovely very sort of captivating magnolia shape then we can go back the other way perhaps just tickle it around a little bit i'm going to pick up that rose of ultramarine and while that's so wet just darken into it And I'm going to go straight into a bit of background here and use that indigo and cut in and then what I'll get is a nice sort of dark corner and all the colours will flow and merge plenty of water on there I'm working on a really heavy rough paper Winsor Newton that's going to take all these colours and all this water, a little bit of yellow, a little bit of green, some nice lines coming round, a little bit of sea salt, get some nice star shapes happening. Over this side now. Some darker areas. lovely dry brush effect as well really beautiful mark making I have one down here I get a bit carried away sometimes and go perhaps a bit further on than I wanted to joy of creating a watercolour. Lovely flow of colour all working together. I can't even always say why I put things in. I just like to play and experiment with contrasts and amount of water and just kind of comes out as I go along. Let's have a bit of that cascade green in there, down there. Do splatters, some lighter areas. A bit of yellow.
sort of balance of shapes and colours flowing round. mix of the two together there the rose and the rose and it's lovely and just start layering up some of these now a bit more intensity at the bottom of them lots of variety of marks depth within the washes you can see there that cascade green just falls out of the brush and flows into the space have a bit more salt over here easy to get carried away with the salt so try and uh, restrain myself I've picked up a sword brush now that's going to enable me to do some really lovely twigs and lines get a lot of that gorgeous colour on there just flows around amazingly yellow a bit more of the green and balance it with some of the greens as well Oh, I wish I'd had a bigger piece of paper now. And then the thing is to decide when to stop with something so flowing like this it's easy to do too much so that's dried off now I've got a couple of other colors um, quinacridone magenta and moon glow so this is the quinacridone magenta and I'm gonna carry on with the sword brush I'm gonna come round here and just flick and these are glazed layers now giving some even stronger pigments I don't want to do too much of it because obviously it's about the flowing lightness of the whole piece but it's quite nice to have some just sort of sit on the top and perhaps a little bit up here as well and run a bit out into the background to blur it 
and then a smaller brush and I'm just going to run some water and blend some of those edges in and it just unifies that wash then into the wash underneath and creates a second tone or third tone because I'm ending up lifting some of that colour out as well more bolder shapes there now haven't I looking really nice in this top corner where I wanted it to get quite lost I think it might have got a little bit too lost so a really nice way of bringing that back and I'm going to use the moon glow for this would be to come in over the top paint in a new edge for the flower again use the water to blur it's just allowed me to have a bit more control there of the shape of the flower and of course you can lift as well, get your tissue. Remove a little bit, get some light back. Fine a little bit with the So it's a really fine powder. Mix some of that up. And I'm gonna flick. It's a bit more water and I can drop little bits in here and there where it's still damp and just trail a few lines through you can mix it in with your colour as well so it gives it a nice metallic sheen and then before it goes too far I'm going to stop thanks for watching <laughs>